Hi, welcome back to Her DIY Dream Home. My name is Liz, and this episode we're gonna be working on the trim and the tile backsplash in the kitchen. I have to tell on myself when I originally actually did the work and recorded it, I forgot to do the intros and stuff, so um, it's been a couple of months since I did uh, the actual work, um, but here we go. Um, so the first step to this part of the project is the ceiling trim. Um, I used a one, one and a half inch kind of decorative trim to finish the connection between the ceiling and the shiplap walls. Um, so I went ahead and just went around the room above the cabinets, everywhere in the main cabin, and added the trim. I used a foam or PVC trim so it was flexible so that it would curve with the ceiling because it does curve kind of towards the um, middle of the cabin where, where the step up is into the master bedroom. Um, so yeah, so I went ahead and did that.
the windows around um, the RV. I have some large windows here in the main cabin, the one behind me, and the, um, there's two on the uh, left-hand side and two on the right-hand side here in the main cabin. I use just regular wood trim um, to do that portion. I guess I should have done the PVC for movement, but my plan is to park it and not move it afterwards, so I didn't think it would be that big of a deal since everything was a straight cut. Um, so yeah, so I did that. I, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, everything looks nice and clean and kind of has that modern farmhouse chic look I was going for. Um, yeah, I'm really happy.
Okay, so after I finished putting up the trim with my air nailer and my finish nailer, um, I went ahead with some caulking and kind of filled all the gaps. Um, the ceiling wasn't super straight, so I did have to kind of force some in there to make it seem seamless. Um, so I went around the room and did that. Um, and then after I forced it in, well not on camera, I went back with a slightly damp rag and kind of just wiped everything down for a nice smooth finish. Okay, and then after work, I went ahead um, one day and taped off everywhere that I was going to paint. So I was painting the trim the same color as the ceiling. So I just went around with some tape so that I didn't get so much paint on the um, shiplap here. Um, a little secret, I'm a terrible painter. I get paint everywhere. You will see in the pictures, I have paint everywhere. People know I've painted because I have paint in my hair. Great. So, um, so yeah, so I went ahead and just did a coat of the same paint that is on the ceiling all the way around the room. 
um, and kind of that was it. I peeled off the paint after it had dried about 30 minutes and I was finished. I did a little bit of touch up, but I'm going to do a final touch up uh, when I'm completely done with the RV because everywhere there's like little things that I need to do.
DIY Dream Home. This episode we're going to install the tile backsplash here in the kitchen. I am using a math stick to apply, to apply a um, mosaic tile that I purchased at Lowe's. I'm using this quarter inch trowel. Um, I've had it for a while so that's why it's a little rusty. Um, so basically the plan is to just kind of install from the base of this existing um, backsplash up to the top of the cabinet. So let's get started.
finished tiling the backsplash of the kitchen area. Um, I did leave the below and above the window empty because there's going to be some trim there. And uh, so you won't be able to see any tile below um, underneath the trim from the um, backsplash here. So I just left it blank. Um, I did put a little trim here and uh, all the way to the edge. I did leave some spots empty for um, the nails when I do attach the trim. The next step is to grout the tile. I'm using a color called Warm Gray. Um, this is a silicone based sanded grout. It comes in tubes. My plan is to uh, pipe all of the straight lines and then go over it with this really flexible um, a grout float to kind of push it in and get everything nice and finished. Um, I'm using the silicone grout because you know, when the RV is on the move it needs to be able to flex a little bit and so you don't crack the mosaic. Uh, that's also why I used a mastic um, for the backsplash so with in addition to the just being a mosaic rather than solid tiles it should uh, move when the RV is on the move. So let's get started. Unfortunately, I did not realize while I was doing the grout work that I ran out of batteries, so I finished doing all the grouting um, with no footage to prove that I did it. Um, it's all done. I'm really happy with how it turned out, and I can't wait to show you the next step um, when I started working on the master bedroom. So that's the next video. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to Her DIY Dream Home. Um, and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks and have a great day.